Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Ryan Haywood. And in a development that should surprise absolutely no one ever, guess what? Robots are better at video games than you are. Well, maybe, yeah, no, both of us, yeah. <laughs> A group of researchers at Google's DeepMind Artificial Intelligence Research Group, which is the best sentence I've ever said, <laughs> have developed self-learning computers that teaches itself to play video games and develops advanced strategies and then uses its newfound knowledge to destroy all humans. Which itself is a video game. <laughs> DeepMind uses classic arcade games like Breakout as an example, in which you have to break down a wall by bouncing the world's hardest ball, apparently, off it. Well, the AI, working by itself, apparently found out that you can do things that most humans never even figured out in the game. Like you can break a hole in the wall and bounce the ball behind it to score more points. Which I had no idea was a thing, but there you go. Thanks, computer. It's only a matter of time now before they come for your halo, so uh, cherish the time you have left at the top. And all the mothers you've been intimate with. Because the machines don't care. Dude, your mom was programmed in COBOL! DeepMind uses a system they developed called DeepQ Network, or DQN, oh. which combines deep neural networks and Q learning. Also, it sounds like a porn network, right? I'd watch it. I'd deepen your cue. Mm. The Deep Neural Network is a perception tool sort of inspired by animal vision, which helps the DQN see and interact more like humans do, while the Q learning is a reinforcement learning system based on math. Ryan loves his math. Yeah, yeah yes. Yes. Specifically, in this case, the points are the reward, and the AI wants to maximize its reward. So it's created like a Pavlovian computer system. All right, sure, why not? Uh, researchers have tried doing other methods before, like just directing the AI to go get max points, but it has difficulty making leaps in logic, like trading short-term gains for long-term successes. Uh, Breakout and Space Invaders in particular sit in that easy to learn but difficult to master space, where it's complex strategy that will pay off. Not the case here. Yeah, currently, the AI is still at the classic game stage, at least, so we've got a little bit of time. It's taken on 49 different Atari 2600 games. Some of its successes have been more modest. It only, only, uh, scored 20 to 30% better than humans at Space Invaders and Pong. Well, that's actually not that bad. I mean, we can work with 20 or 30%. Well, unless you like Breakout and Video Pinball, in which case it scored 10 times the score of a human. All right, well, a little bit mm. less optimistic. AI researcher, neuroscientist, game designer, former chess child prodigy, and all around like super impressive gigantic brain to be Hasabis, who founded DeepMind Technologies, believes the next step is gonna be teaching the system to transfer its make of knowledge and strategy between games because I guess it's not making us look bad enough. It's like the Paul Bunyan of the modern age. Hey, Paul. I'm coming, boys. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. I wonder how many people are going to get that reference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get the best in video games right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll keep you in the know. And, and safe from the AI. Well, until our jobs get taken by robots. Mm.